Lombardia Lombardy wine is the Italian wine produced in the Lombardy region of north-central Italy. The region is known particularly for its sparkling wines made in the Franciacorta and Oltrepo Pavese areas. Lombardy also produces still red, white and rosé wines made from a variety of local and international grapes including Nebbiolo wines in the Valtellina region, Trebbiano di Lugana white wines produced with the Chiaretto-style rosé along the shores of Lake Garda. The wine region currently has 15 Denominazione di Origine Controllata DOC, 3 Denominazione di Origine Controllata e Garantita DOCG, and 13 Indicazioni Geografica Tipica IGT designations. The main cities of the region are Milan, Bergamo and Brescia. The region annually produces around 1.3 million hectoliters of wine, more than the regions of Friuli Venezia Giulia, Marche, Trentino Alto Adige, Sutteral and Umbria. History The winemaking tradition of Lombardy dates back to its settlement by Greeks from Athens along the Po River. Archaeological evidence suggests that these settlers traded wine with the Etruscans in nearby Tuscany. In the late 19th century, the Italian wine writer C. B. Cerletti wrote a book for the French market that described the wines of Italy. Of the wines of Lombardy, he noted that the Valtellina were still being made in a Greek style and the wines of Oltrepo Pavese were the preferred wines of the Milanese. <laughs> climate and geography The climate of Lombardy is varied due to the diverse terrain of the region but is generally considered a «cool» continental climate. The region is influenced by several geographic features that control the climate and terroir of the land. These include the Alps located in the northern parts of the region near the wine-producing area of Valtellina and the Po River which runs along the Oltrepo Pavese whose name means Pavia across the Po and forms most of the region's southern border with Emilia-Romagna. Many wine areas are located near some of Lombardy's major lakes including Franciacorta near Lake Iseo as well as the Garda Bresciano and Garda Matovano regions near Lake Garda. To the west of Lombardy is the Piedmont wine region, to the south is Emilia Romagna and to the east are the Trentino Alto Adige, Sutteral and Veneto wine regions. <laughs> wine regions. The Lombardy region consists primarily of 13 wine producing areas from north south Valtellina, located along the Adda River in the Alps, Garda Bresciano, located along Lake Garda, Valsalapio, located around the city of Bergamo, Franciacorta, located along Lake Iseo, Salatica, located near Franciacorta in the province of Brescia, Botticino, located east of Brescia. Capriano del Col located southwest of Brescia San Martino della Battaglia located along Lake Garda south of Garda Bresciano Lugana located along Lake Garda southeast of San Martino della Battaglia Garda Matovano located along Lake Garda in the province of Mantua San Colombano al Lambro located in the province of Milan along the border with the province of Pavia Lambrusco Matovano located in the province of Mantua along the border with Emilia Romagna. Produces Lambrusco wine. Oltrepo Pavese, located in that part of the province of Pavia which lies to the south of the river Po and is bordered by the Emilia Romagna and Piedmont regions. <laughs> Valtellina This northernmost wine region of Lombardy has been producing wine since the 5th century and is found in the valley of Adda River traveling west to east through the Alps. The vineyards in this area are located at high altitudes around 2,500 feet. For most of its history, the Valtellina region's primary market was Switzerland to the north. In recent times it has garnered international attention for being the only major Italian region to focus on the Nebbiolo grape, locally known as Chiavenosca. Outside of the Piedmont region, the vineyards of the region are located on the south-facing slopes along the Adda River. The nearby mountain peaks provide protection from cold, harsh winds and help to trap heat in the valley. The stony vineyard soil also retains heat and releases it during the night to warm the vines. 
This creates an optimum situation which allows the Nebbiolo grape to fully develop its flavors during the long growing season it needs. The steep location of the vineyards makes mechanical harvesting difficult so most vineyards are tended by hand which increases the cost and limits production. Heavy winter rainfall poses the hazards of landslides and soil erosion. The red wines of the Valtellina regions are typically light to medium bodied. The Nebbiolos are noticeably less tannic and acidic than their Piedmont counterparts. The Valtellina dock includes the basic level wines while the Valtellina Superiore DOCG include wines from the more premium locations and must be aged a minimum of two years. The Valtellina Superiore Reserva are reserve style wines that must be aged for at least four years. Valtellina also produces an Amarone style DOCG wine known as Sforzato or Sferzat. Sferzat is alternate dialect names made from dried grapes with a minimum alcohol content of 14.5%. The Valtellina grape Rossola Nera that is permitted as a minor blending component in the dock wines of the region is an offspring of Nebbiolo. Another wine grape, Rossolino Nero, that is thought to be an offspring of Rossola Nera and such a grandchild variety of Nebbiolo is also grown in Valtellina. Topic: Oltrepo Pavese. The Oltrepo Pavese region is responsible for more than half of all wine produced in the Lombardy region, as well as two thirds of its dock designated wines. This region along the Po Valley was once a part of the Piedmont, but has always had Milan as its primary market. Today, it produces a DOCG sparkling wine with its Pinot Nero, Pinot Noir grapes, and a rose sparkling wine denominated Crues. In addition to sparkling wines, the Oltrepo Pavese also produces red wines from the Pinot Nero, Barbera, Croatina, Uva Rara and Vespolina. There are some small plantings of Cabernet Sauvignon that are starting to appear as varietal wines. The white wines of the region are made from Riesling Italico Welsh Riesling, Riesling, Riesling Renano, Chardonnay, Cortese, Malvasia, Moscato, Pinot Grigio and Sauvignon Blanc. The Pinot Nero grape is also vinified as a rose and as a white, non sparkling wine, in addition to being made as a standard red wine. The sparkling wines of the region are made in several styles. The wines labeled Matodo Classico are made according to the Methode Champenoise of the Champagne region. The wines are composed primarily of Pinot Nero with up to a 30% blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Bianco, and Pinot Grigio. Slightly sparkling frizzante styles are made from several of the region's red and white wine grapes including the dry Butifuoco style and the semi-sweet Sangue di Giuda meaning Judas blood both made from the Croatina grape, known locally as Bernarda. The Moscato grape is also made into a frizzante style as well as Licoroso fortified wine and Passito dessert wine. Franciacorta. The Franciacorta wine zone is responsible for some of Italy's most prestigious sparkling wines. Located along the shores of Lake Iseo, vineyards are planted in well-drained Marainich soils. The area has a long history of producing still red and white wines but has gained most of its success in the last 40 years since it started producing sparkling wines. In 1995, the region received DOCG status and created a separate dock, known as Terra di Franciacorta, for its non sparkling wines. The sparkling wines of this area are composed primarily of the Chardonnay and Pinot Bianco grape, with a maximum 15% of Pinot Nero allowed. The area has a Cremont style wine, known under the trademark name Satin, that has less carbon dioxide than the standard sparkling wine but is more bubbly than a frizzante. This wine is not allowed to have any Pinot Nero in the blend. The rosé sparklers are required to have a minimum 15% Pinot Nero. The vintage dated wines are required to have a minimum of 85% grapes from the indicated vintage and must be aged for at least 30 months prior to release. Non-vintage wines must be aged for at least 18 months. The Franciacorta sparklers are often a little sweeter than champagne with the Brut style having up to 20 grams per liter of sugar while Brut champagne can have no more than 15 grams, while sparkling wine production accounts for more than half of the Franciacorta area's production. Many producers have begun focusing on make red Bordeaux style blends and Burgundian style chardonnays aged in oak. Despite the frequent use of Pinot Nero in the sparkling wines, a still Burgundian style red Pinot Nero is not permitted under the Terra di Franciacorta dock. Topic: 
Other wines and grapes The wine regions along Lake Garda are known for their Chiaretto style rose wine made from a blend of Barbera, Gropello, Marzamino, and Sangiovese. This dry wine is deeper in color than most rosés and typically has good acidity with very low alcohol levels. The Rosso red style wines are made with the same blend of grapes but in a darker, more full-bodied style. Varietal styles of Gropello are rich in tannic wines. The Lugana white wines are made from the Trebbiano grape and are known for their fruitiness and medium body. White wines from the San Martino della Battaglia are made from the Tacai Friuliano grape, which is best known for its use in the nearby Vento region. The Garda Matovano white wines are based on Trebbiano and Garganega and its red wines are made from Merlot and Molinara. Other Lombardy region wines include the sweet Moscato Passito from Valcalapio and the light red wines from the Schiava and Barbera grapes in the Salatica and Botticino region. <laughs> 